I hate I hate that it gotta be you. <laughs> South Florida. There's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Today it's week twelve of the NFL. Man, I'm about to just spam like everybody else do. That's the only way to win in Madden, man. Once you start losing, it's tough. Like my team, when I lost that, they morale all messed up. All kind of stuff. Garbage, man. They'll come out throwing here on first down. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. And yeah, they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them in the rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. He has enough for the first down on the keeper, a gain of six. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Here we go. They'll look to throw here. Steps away. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, he's already shown on this opening drive that he will run the football. We know that about him, Charles. So maybe when he gets outside the pocket, the defense a little wary about the run, and he's able to convert the pass. And that wariness will often cause you to be a step or two slow. And sometimes you get so focused on, will he or won't he run the football? You forget that there are receivers in your area, and they find themselves open, and there's another completed pass. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 45-yard line. He'll drop to throw. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A really nice gain of 25 yards. 
What's this nigga out there? Hop got you. Second and nine now. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. Justin Jefferson, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Colts are on the board first here this afternoon. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you it's see all I'm running for the rest of the year, two plays. Game, you? you certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've got two games, you get the end result that we saw there. I got the two to thing music. They're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. Side here in this first quarter. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and ten at the 34. Watch out, They'll try and start this drive in the air. And the pass complete to Waller on the out route. Second and seven. Throwing now is Tug of Iloa. Delivering another one here to Darren Waller. He's got it again. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Off tackle run here for Nick Chubb. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Now they'll throw with Tugamailoa. Throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. Touchdown, Dolphins! Are nobody on him. Ready, set, 
The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they came into play here off two straight victories. They're back to 500 on the year. But, Charles, is this little mini run coming too late to salvage their season? Well, they definitely dug themselves a hole that leaves them needing to play almost perfect football from here on out. But I do believe they think that they've got this thing turned around, and they are capable of doing exactly that. This to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up through the air. Oh, wow. Oh, in the backfield to help pass protect all the receivers in their patterns is going to be hot routes if they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback they've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football in this case ah uh, never even had a chance they popped the ball free in the backfield Give running right is Chubb. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Two are going to throw. Into the hands of Patrick, left side. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. They'll run with Chubb. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. They'll try again with Chubb. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Watch out now. Sticky Fury. Watch it. Stick. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Now two are going to try and sneak it. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Two of them by Scoring on the sneak from a yard Dolphins have taken the lead. This time, the extra point up and good. And that'll make this a six-point game. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. Charles, you got to think the number one goal here is ball security. Remember last drive, they coughed it up. Then they allowed the touchdown, and now they're trying to the scoreboard. Boy, the way you described it makes me think that that one actually hurt them three times. The fumble caught the potential points. Then they watched your opponent get a touchdown off of the fumble. And third, 
they lost the lead as a result. Really tough sequence right there. I don't think coaches have to remind them to hold on to the puck ball. They've just got to find a way to get it done. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football part. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Flush to his right. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Right. Take a shot for the end zone. And that is incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. <laughs> They'll be the cheese, baby. Try again with the arm here on second down. Steps away to his left. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 16. 23 yards the pick up there. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Again, he'll drop the throw. Throw left side, hold in by Pickens. <laughs> Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. So they go for it on fourth and goal, hoping to get six, and it's 
six the other way. With hindsight is 20 20. They would have gone ahead and kicked the field goal, but by being aggressive, it actually cost them. Give up six points going the other way. A good hold in these right conditions. The point after is up and good, and the lead now stands at 13. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness. Maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. Now on third and forever, he'll look to throw. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jamel Dean. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Now Chubb running right. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Ball at the 9 on 2nd and 8. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Second down, here's Chubb again. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every stop like that could be preventing a possible touchdown. The kick by Gold is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So the interception set him up a terrific field position, but three points needed result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. Takes it at the seven. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work. Looking for Austin, intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give up. My laugh is they just coming. Zone coverage for him. 
I can't even run, just because these niggas be on me so quick. So here's a first and ten now down inside the twenty. I ain't running no plays. This is my this is my game from now on. And trouble trying the middle here. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Season, brother. You don't see that often. He just mishit it and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here and I'm looking at you and you're looking at me and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, but that's a costly mishit and now you put your team in a bad spot. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Now back to throw. Go right side here, and that's complete. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Back to throw now on first down. Man, how is he just hitting off of him? That's what I mean, man. It's crazy. I, my, it ain't like that's a bum. Uh, it ain't like he a bum lambing out there. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. He'll let it fly for Austin. And oh, that one go right up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. Third down coming up. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drops. Two more. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Look at that. The Dolphins <laughs> get there this time, and they bring him down. Now the Colts uh, lose their uh, final time. As they get it right at the 32nd. Wait, hold on. Where am I at? I'm on the other side. Nah, fool. I'm on my forty nine. On fourth down, out is the butter. Cameron Johnston to boot it away. Oh. Snap to the up man. Boy, that's asking a lot of your punt team there, and they were not able to deliver. It's asking an awful lot of the punt team there because. <laughs> oh, he didn't get it. I thought it was four for inches. You've got a chance, right? That's a manageable distance to try and pick up when you're running the fake. <laughs> when that number's actually been in the weight room and it's pumped up like it was, it's difficult to do. All right, so you might even think to yourself, if I left my offense on the field, would they be able to pick that up? You could run a nice play and not get that distance. He's going to rifle one deep left side. He's got it with the 15. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Look how my man just standing there. My man just standing there.
Gold with the extra point, and a route is on here in this first half. So not much to do. Just can't stand there and look at the ball. Half as the kicks away from the six. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. just a minor blip here in what's been a thoroughly dominating performance. So the two teams will head to the locker rooms here in Miami with the Dolphins on top. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime <laughs> Report. Hey, I can... <laughs> Welcome back, Charles and I. Oh, I thought I got the ball first. Number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we I mean I thought I was supposed to get it back. This is taken just shy of the team. My team was pissed at me. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. set to start the drive and the first half definitely went their way and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here yeah and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the ball that could be the decisive blow in this game i think that's how they're eyeing it that's how they're approaching it the throw over the middle taken in and he'll be taken down but not before they work it across midfield they give the job out of the gun and that play will go nowhere losing yardage back near midfield at the 49 they fake the handoff now to it it's my team, man. My team just sucks. Like, what is he even doing in the game? Whatever the discussions were at halftime and trying to slow down. He's supposed to be in the game. How's he in the game? Everything that was discussed at the half, just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Two and now on first down. Dumps this to his running back, Chubb. And he will lose yardage here to the 31 yard line. Now they return to the ground game, Chubb. And some space here. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. Nick Chubb with career touchdown number 75. 
And the Dolphins are pouring it on. Now goal for the extra point. You tell. No good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. The kickoff team on the field now is able to send this one away. Hey, what's crazy? I can score on you anytime I want to. Trust me. I can score on you anytime I want. You think you can lock it up? All right. You want to bet something? I come right down to score on you. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Pickens on the slam. Yeah, he'll be taking deep. Nah, I ain't gonna bet because they on some they on some look at that. <laughs> How I get an offensive pass interference on that? Who touched two? Two. Man, that ain't no pass interference. Back to throw. And that would get the off target and incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying we're not Look at this. capable of we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going, trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Dolphins are what, going to possession of the football. He's had a fantastic it's crazy. season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. But we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, I with the year he's having, stuff. a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. They go up the middle with Chubb. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now to it. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And yeah, he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 22 yards there, first down. side on the ground with Chubb and not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. A loss of a full three yards and now it's second down. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. And again, it's Chubb. And once again, this Colts defense stops him behind the line of scrimmage. A couple of plays sent him the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. Tua sets up to pass it. Look at that. Just kill him, my dude. Drake London from 17 yards out. And the Dolphins have taken a six touchdown lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. 
Hmm? We running this. This is what we running, baby. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. Now we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to not get to run this hard. I just have to see what we do. I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Come on, man. More there on first down, but this throw down field incomplete. Sometimes we wonder about play calls, but this one made perfect sense to me. He's got the only touchdown that they've scored in this game. Tried to get it to him again on another deep ball. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. That's going to be caught by Pickens. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 40. They'll look to throw again. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. I don't know what that was. And he spiked the football. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. He'll drop to throw. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They'll look to throw here. Got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Joe Mixon, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Colts get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Extra point mm -hmm. try good by Gano as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final. Nick Nixon, Amy, I don't even run Nick Mixon like that. Gano now following the 
touchdown here to kick it Like away. I refuse to run. I think I'm Joe Montana. <laughs> Terrible. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out with this one. But the way this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. My team did, my defense just did not make play. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and ten at the 43. He's gonna rifle one deep left side. Look at this. I told you. And he's like these folks just do not make a play. Gonna be stopped before he can get moving forward as he'll lose a couple back to the five yard line. He coming this way. Oh, that's who's running, man. I need some touchdowns now, man. I got to get three passing touchdowns. I got to hit you with the bamboo. My experiment didn't work. From the six. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Well, their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. A good start to the drive here as that's caught out on the left side. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. Play fake here on first down. Though going for Jefferson downfield. Oh. And his pass is intercepted. I need it, Dad. Picked off by Greg Newsom. Towards the return guy, 
because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. They'll look to throw here on first down. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. They'll look to throw. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. They're going to look to throw. Complete Jefferson the target. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a touchdown here on this drive, it, it wouldn't really put much of a dent in the score, the deficit right now. But as you mentioned in the past, CD, their coach is probably just hoping to see something executed correctly on this drive before we close out the ball game. Yeah, and I think that every guy who's on the field has to feel exactly the same way because if not, they might be looking for replacements. Treat every drive as if it's your last and make it a successful one in some small way. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Seven yards left for second down. Ball at the 10. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. The offense on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This time it's third and three. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. They face a third down now. To try hey, to <laughs> Yeah, man, this is bad. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one at the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead. And now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. The Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you know, Come on, Ritter. To pile on the stats, and they got their way. They try to get every single spot on the depth chart points before this game is over. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. <laughs> I'm going to the ball. It's over now. My playoffs hopes are done. I suck, though. It is what it is. Madden has passed me. Maybe I'm too old. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter. Come on. See, that's how I know. Like, that's crazy. As the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. It certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck. Even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. That one looks like he'll throw it here. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Oh, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. Now this throw caught left side. 
And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Gold to end the extra point. Another season down the drain. Now these have been no picnic for him so far. He's missed two, but this one is good. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. I like it. I like what we see. defense. I have no identity. I can't even cheese right now. Ready to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but let's go, baby. Wounds. They've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they got to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made. And they to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this back? Yeah, that's because, because I got you worried time. about it. This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation. I'm going to get it together. They'll look to throw now on first down. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Again, he'll drop to throw. Now he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. That's just terrible. This is terrible, baby. We're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well. Every now and then, I gotta make some changes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some corners or somebody. Somebody gotta help me. This is crazy. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw to the right side and complete to Jefferson. Now the Colts gonna burn the We need help. Timeouts. As they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Back to throw again. Well, this is intercepted. They get the winner for the third time. Picked out by Jerome Baker. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. Oh, my goodness, CD. I mean, this defense just continuing to dominate. They're really dominating on both sides of the ball. But for the defense, that's now three interceptions for them here in this ball game. And what a great teaching tape for this defensive quarterback. How do these fools just bat the ball down? What does he always tell us in the pitches to his team? We're going to lead the league in effort. Well, they're doing that in this game as well as making big plays. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's Tongue of Ilo to throw. And this one incomplete. So the clock stopped now with 20 seconds remaining. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Here's Tua. Got his Look at this. Killing him. Fielded right around the eight. 
And good coverage there. That's my offense the rest of the season. Down shy of the 20. <laughs> hey, C Vine. I'm terrible, C Vine. <laughs> I know. Nah. I, that's it the rest of the year. That's all I'm doing. I see what I need to do, how I need to adjust. Now we'll get whistles, and they signal for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and ten. Now one final throw here is incomplete. Good game. And that is how this one will come to an end. And is this D 